it is Lunas Macho Monday. Ian Torch here, hoping to start this month off with a bang. And man, oh man, don't you wish we could kind of wake up from this very strange collective coma we're in? I will say one thing that's rather interesting is the evolution of wrestling as a whole. You know, they tried so hard to get out of just small dark TV studios into large arenas to get the audience that they're all hoping for, and yet in the process, we've gone back to the black box with a room in it. And in a way, it's given it kind of that genuine feel. Of course, there's still, you know, slight differences here and there, you know, the cons have a few of their own other areas they can do stuff from if they so wish to mix it up and give the public a little bit of variety. You know, the McMahons have an audience that they can put into the show because of all the, all that potential talent coming up to the, their performance center. And... If I recall, NWA had some stuff recorded before all this went down, so they've still got stuff to work with. And uh, Impact, um, they're, they're doing pretty well. If anything, their content's gotten a lot sharper because they've done accentuate the positive side to negative. And now, let's see what I can do. Welcome to another episode of Live from the Banquet Hall. Oh my god, I gotta get a new place. I don't know what I'm they just don't give me anything in the shop. Alright, elimination tag man. Who are we gonna give them? You know what? Yeah. Team feud bonus. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Start the night off with a table match and the tag team action. You know, that's what you the crowd going.
chrysalis. Yeah. Oh, more mixed talent. I'm loving it. Yes. All right, so Greg Kibbeck. Again. Ooh. Yeah, Candy Cotton, Greg Kibbeck. That should be an interesting little scenario. known. That's adorable. Uh, here we go. It's a battle of the sexes this evening. Got Quebec versus Candy. And neither one is letting up. This is a clinic. And with the cannonball, Greg Quebec getting it done. And now Flutter up against one of the new heavy hitters in the women's division. 
Now, there's the setup, and there's the cannonball. One, two, three. Back in there, I want to draw. This is our bloody mess. This puts the match after and now. And there's somebody goes for a bit. And that's it. That's pretty exciting. And hopefully, we back there with the match coming up. But, you know, up and down things are in the state. I don't know if that's going to be the case. But anyway, I don't see what the chance is right. Look at everybody's face today. I'm much more on. If you have any shows, any promotions that open the doors, you let me know if you want to talk about anything that happened in the past month, closing of Chikara, the fact that they're fighting Seth Rantan, or any of that, any of the comments, we'll bring it up to the next week. But until next time, this is Dave Lunas, Monday, Monday. I'll be...